This is not financial advice, but in this video, you're going to learn about four growth stocks that are trading under $50 that are set to double, triple, quadruple, if not 50 X. Now these are all speculative plays, but they're going to make a lot of people a lot of money. And if your portfolio isn't diversified, diversify. And if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, stay out of the kitchen. Shout out to the 4100 of you that hit that notification bell. You guys always show me what time it is. And if you like financial channels that get straight to the point, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it. And the first one on the list is Selector Biosciences Inc. Ticker symbol CLRB. Now the problem with cancer medicines today is they kill the cancer, but they also kill the healthy cells around the cancer. And this company here is trying to make cell therapy and sell drugs and medicines that only target, they only target those cancer cells and they keep the ones around it who are healthy, they keep them alive. And this is better, much significantly better for the health of the patient overall. Now, why is this important? Because this company is down 12% today. It is up 54% on a week. It is up 82% in the last three months. And they have a market cap of $54 million, which is our chance to get it on the ground. And this is not financial advice. Do your own research. They are selling at $1.95 a share. And there are six analysts who did a survey. And on that survey, every single one of them gave it a buy rating. None of them gave it a hold rating. None of them gave it a sell rating. Let's keep it going. Why is that? Because they beat their earning expectations quarter after quarter after quarter, and they have been knocking it out of the park. So, you know what? Let's say that we were to look at another analyst and five more analysts, and what do they say about this stock? They say this. They say that Selector is has a median of $5.48 by the next year on this time, this time next year. That is going to be $5.48 on a median, according to five stock analysts. You know what else? They say that it has a high of $10 a share. And let's say that it doesn't hit either one of those and it only hits the minimum and it hits $3 a share. That is over 50% growth. And I told you in the last video, I told you in the one before that, that the average return on a good investment is between 7 and 12%. And that has been true since 1901. 50% is absolutely great and amazing, and it might blow past that. So, what is our strike price? Our first strike price is $1.60. We see that, we average in. We see $1.50, we average in. Do not get the fear of missing out. Take your time, average in, don't get greedy. The next one on the list, this one is the most disruptive business, one of them, one of the most disruptive businesses that the world has ever seen. And you know what it is? It's Airbnb. Now, when you hear Airbnb, you think, oh, nice and cozy, and oh man, a nice bed, warm bed, and heat, and just beautiful people. And nah, when hotels hear about this one, they say, oh, a monster. Hotels, they see Airbnb. Motels, they see Airbnb. It's a monster. It's a beast. You know why? Because Airbnb is a monster. Airbnb is a beast. They're putting these companies out of business left and right. Hotels cannot stand a chance. Motels, they do not have an opportunity. It's over for them. When Airbnb blows up and as it's been blowing up, they've been knocking these companies down. Why is that? Because Airbnb has so much potential because they do not have the same amount of overhead and they can expand at a way faster rate because they don't have to build any buildings. They don't have to pay any maintenance crews that take care of their properties. They don't have to pay anything like that. And how do they expand? They just need other countries to just allow people to download the app. How else do they expand? They need more people to want to download the app. Why do people download the app? Because people see an opportunity to make money with them. And that's one of the great signs of wealth. When people see a way to start making money from you, you'll get rich. That's exactly what happens. Think about any professional athlete, think about any singer, anything like that. People love them, people gravitate towards them because they see an opportunity to make money. If you put commercials in front of these people, your company is gonna grow. So then they pay sponsorship deals. This is how a person gets super rich when people see opportunities to make money off of them and then everybody eats. So then Airbnb, people see an opportunity to make money off of their home using Airbnb and Airbnb is the, the all time, one of the all time middlemen and they make money because they're in between you and the person that wants to rent your room. They say, oh, it's over here, it's over there and they point them in the right direction and they take their cut and they can expand super easy. Just needs people to download the app. 
Now let's keep it going. They're projected to have a market cap of $35 billion. And the reason that I bring this one up is because on December 9th, they're gonna IPO. And this is gonna happen really soon. And on December 10th, they're saying that you can trade with this company now. So now, they're forecasted to go to $75, like really, really quick out the gate. Do not get the fear of missing out. Because what happens notoriously with IPOs is you buy into an IPO and it shoots right up to the moon. And then three to eight weeks later, it drops like a rock. But if it's a good company, it'll take off again. So if you have $1,000 and you want to buy in on this IPO, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor, but this is what I would do. I would put 300 up. I would put 400 up at the IPO. And then I would wait three weeks, four weeks. And then once it drops like a rock, I would buy in again and then ride this one all the way out to the moon. Long term. This is an extremely long term play. This one is going to easily 10x in the long term. Now, let's get right into it and let's keep it going. The next one on the list is Apex Technology Acquisition Corp. I got to say this one because this one has so much potential. I don't want you to miss out. So, they're going to merge with a company called Ave Point Technology and we got in at $10.90 back in november but currently it's at 14 dollars a share it's up two percent on a day it's down 13 percent on a week and it's up 47 percent on the year now ave point is a cloud partner with microsoft and they have 7 million cloud users from microsoft now 25 percent of their user base is fortune 500 companies so there's no worry there with their consumers now microsoft has 28 percent of the total cloud market and the cloud market has a total addressable market that's projected to grow to $1.8 trillion. This is a 50x growth. And this company is projected to grow in proportion to the total market. And this is a potential 50x. So what do we like this at? We like this at $13 for a strike price. We like this at $12 for a strike price. Do not get the fair missing out. Buy on the strike prices. This is why I tell you these strike prices and I'm not a financial advisor. Now, what I want to do now is let's talk about the comment of the day. The comment of the day is this. He says, brother, I listen to you every day. My investing spirit has grown high and strong and I have made over 10 grand just buying some of the stocks you put out there. God bless you. Now, man, when I see stuff like that, I tell you, I love comments like that. I love comments like that, but not for me. I love it for you because I feel like when you win, I win. And I can't take credit for your wins. You were the one who got all the cash to buy these trades. You were the one who executed these trades. And I appreciate that you felt like I was a part of that. So when you win, I win. And I want you guys who are watching this to put a chef in the comment with some flames to show my boy some love. When we win, we win together. So what I want you to do is this. I want you to do your own research. If your portfolio is not diversified, diversify. And if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, stay out of the kitchen. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned. I love y'all. Take care.